Hey everybody, Rich here. This video I'm going to show you how to use the No Style feature of the Firefox browser. No Style is actually a feature that has been in Firefox for a very long time, so even if you happen to be using Firefox 3, if you're not using 4, it's there. And um, it's also available on Firefox using any operating system. So whether you're using Firefox in Windows, Linux, or Mac, it's always there. So these instructions should be universally correct no matter what operating system you happen to be using right now with the Firefox browser. So with that said, here we go. Now, ordinarily, when you want to increase the readability of a font, the easiest way to do it is to zoom the text. You can do this from the view menu. You can do it with a, by holding the control key and using mouse wheel up or down. So if I hold control, mouse wheel up, mouse wheel down, that's how it works. My preferred method of doing it is with control plus and minus. So if I hit control plus five times, okay, and there we are, nice big easy read text. The problem, however, at least on this site, and it happens on other sites too, is that the middle portion is uh, the bigger the image gets and the bigger the sidebar gets, the smaller the middle part gets. It's, uh, for lack of a better term, shrunk. If we use the no style uh, feature, on the other hand, we can get the text big without compromising the uh, the width. And the way to do that is to do Alt V in Windows, at least it's Alt V. If you're using um, Mac or Linux, actually in Linux it should also be a, an Alt V, and in uh, on the Mac it should be from the menu bar, the View menu. I think that's where it is on the Mac, and you go to Page Style and you choose no style. Now this gives the site uh, a very, whatever site you're looking at, a very uh, old school look because the style is stripped. That's what no style means. And if I punch this up five times, one, two, three, four, five, you notice that the text goes all the way across the screen and it's easier to read. Some of you may see this and say, but that's Times New Roman, at least on Windows, that's Times New Roman. I hate that font. No problem. You can go to Firefox Options Options and go to General. I'm sorry, it's not General. Is it under? Oh, it is uh, Content. I'm sorry. And uh, when you're viewing something using no style, no font is assigned. So it will use whatever the default is in the Firefox browser. You can go to Advanced here and uh, by default it will be using serif which is Times New Roman. You can change this to sans serif which is Arial and if you don't like Arial you can just change this to something else but I'm just going to keep this simple and just say okay just do uh, the, this one right here and not change the font. You can if you want but I just leave it as is. So I'll change this to sans serif and hit OK. Hit OK again and now everything is in a nice Arial font which is a little easier on the eyes compared to Times New Roman, which has serifs all over the place. Now, even if your eyesight is good, you know as well as I do that if you stare at a computer monitor long enough, your eyes start to blur after a little while, get a little tired, it happens to, to the best of us. And sometimes you just want a nice, big, easy-to-read font with links that are actually underlined. You'll notice that all the links are underlined. Even if the site said not to do it, this will put them in there, which is great. And you can read this really easily, and that's really cool. So, anyway, to uh, reset this back to the way I had it, and just in case you do this and you say, nah, that's okay, I didn't want to do this, but I, I tried it, didn't like it, that's okay. Uh, first, I will go back to Options, Options, and I will change. go back to Advanced. Sorry, I'm rushing. Go back to Content, and then click Advanced, and change this back to Default, which is in Windows, Serif, 16, Times New Roman, Arial, Career New, 13, no minimum font size set, and hit OK. And then hit OK again, and this goes back to the uh, Times New Roman thing. Then I will do a Control-0 to reset the size to Default. Let me just scroll up here. And then finally, I'm sorry, not Firefox, but Alt-V again in page style. Change it back to basic page style. And then it is back to the way it was. That in a nutshell is it. Take it easy.